Hi, this is Richard Lynch. You're watching ILoveLimerick.com and today we are in the wonderful town of Kimalloch where we've come to check out Limerick-based artist Orla Clancy's work at the Friars Gate Theatre and Art Centre. You're all very welcome to Friars Gate and to the opening of Decade, this beautiful exhibition of paintings by Orla Clancy. Um, Orla has exhibited us with us before in the past as part of a group show. But we're, we're delighted to have the opportunity to host um, a solo show of her work. Um, our special guest this evening to op open the show is Morris Clark. Morris is director of the Blueberry Gallery in its road in Limerick. So I'll hand over to Morris to say a few words to open the show. Thanks, Kiva, for that. Um, I'm absolutely delighted to have been invited by Orla to, to, to open this exhibition. In sitting down today and in thinking about Orla's work, I have one particular piece of work in the gallery and it's called Rummaging at the Cliffs of Moher. And I pass it and I look and I go away and I come back all the time. But I was using the word wonderful about her work. Orla's antecedents or her, her love of or her soakage in history and art and poetry and music and song is very evident. I, I think her love of poetry, to me, comes through in, in a peculiar way in looking at her work because I, I suppose art to a degree, or a, a good poem, I must visualise it. And if I visualise it, then it becomes a, a, a work of art. Um, I wrote this because I, I had read it about you, that, that the undercurrents, relationships, interpretation, and misinterpretation. And I really love the fact that that was used about the misinterpretation. I look at a painting or somebody looks at a painting and they say, oh yeah, and they go back and they realize again. And that's what I've consistently found with or Orla's work. I'm drawn back to it all the time. And I think it's, it's just fabulous to see so many creative, young and capable women artists around. I wish you every success. If you have a chance to buy some work here, please do, because Orla's work is amazing and it is still affordable now. And in years to come, it'll be an investment and it will be... But don't look at it as an investment. Buy it because you like it. Because if you have something at your wall that you like and that you like going back to and watching, it's something you have for life. And there's nothing like original art. <laughs> I'm here with the Limerick-based artist Orla Clancy, who is here today in Camelloc celebrating a decade of her work. Orla, you tell me, why did you call the exhibition Decade? Um, I've been living in um, near Ballangarry in County Limerick for the last 10 years, pretty much. Basically, that's why it is. And over the years, I built up a body of work and I went through all kinds of different experiences and met a whole lot of different people and went back to art college and traveled a lot, did a lot of drawing, did a lot of photography, a lot of thinking and it all kind of ended up as paintings and basically these paintings are from different periods in the last decade. They're representative of your life in Limerick. Yeah, that's right, they are. The, the, the people I met, the stories, the um, the individuals who I got to know. What inspires you? Tell me a little about your father. I believe he was quite a well-known man. He was a singer and he was also, the, he had the public persona, the singer, the actor, the performer, the teller of stories, but privately he told stories, he had all these songs, he had the most bizarre sense of humour, Richard. Is he one of the greatest inspirations in your life? In the sense that his work, worth et work ethic was very strong. He always said, if you're going to do something creative, do it well. Who else inspired you? Well, it would have to be my mother. When I was growing up, she encouraged me to draw and paint when I was a child. In recent years, too, she sort of took up painting herself a little bit, which was nice. Before people had internet, television, and ways of, of um, sort of entertaining themselves, they'd go to each other's houses, again, tell stories, sing songs, make music, and basically keep each other company. The Fortress of the Sun, this was um, from a photograph taken over... Um, not far away from Drum Colliher in County Limerick. And again, it's a random shot. They're all French teenagers in the back, but these two little girls are Italian. 
Um, they were all over learning English, so. And I just loved the shot and I thought, I want to work that into a painting. I wanted to get those two people in there. And then I just liked the way this kid was walking out of it. And then he was in there, that, that figure there, um, doing his thing. And, and they were, yeah, and they were just in focus. This particular family, I just one evening they were out walking and they were all wearing their reflective jackets and it was getting dark. And I thought, oh, that's nice. So I just sort of remembered it in my mind. I just sketched it then and worked it up into a painting. The tradition of the wren boys, uh, the wren being the little the little bird, the king of all birds, on the 26th of December, which in Ireland is St. Stephen's Day, um, people put on silly old costumes and get out their barons and their musical instruments and they go around singing and doing little performances and maybe dancing. Going on the Wren is still very popular in County Limerick and all over the Republic of Ireland still. Have you ever been to Loch Gur? Gorgeous place. Well anyway, I was there with my camera and sketchbook and I got this photograph and I just absolutely loved the way in the photograph the fern caught the light and I just decided I'd go and try and make a painting of it. This is Richard Lynch, you're watching ILoveLimerick.com, see you soon.